Pass the CNA exam with Florida Training Academy. We have hundreds of free practice nursing assistant exam questions on our YouTube channel. Question number one. A resident who is confused asks the nurse aide what day is it? The nurse aide should a. Explain that memory loss is natural and the date is not important. b. Ignore the request. c. Point to the date on a calendar and say the date. d. Provide the date and then test the client later. The correct answer is c. Point to the date on a calendar and say the date. Question number 2. Which of the following is most important for the prevention of skin breakdown in the client? a. Air drying the client's skin. b. Rubbing lotion on the client's skin. C. Ambulating the client once a day. D. Repositioning the client every two hours. The correct answer is D. Repositioning the client every two hours. Question number 3. When caring for a client who is dying, the nurse aide should A. Only allow one visitor in the room at a time. B. Keep the room dark at all times. C. Pay special attention to fluid intake and mouth care. D. Try to avoid entering the client's room. The correct answer is C. Pay special attention to fluid intake and mouth care. Question number 4. To best communicate with a client who has total hearing loss, the nurse aide should A. Smile frequently and speak loudly. B. Smile often and talk rapidly. C. Avoid eye contact. D. Write out the information. The correct answer is D. Write out the information. Question number 5. When a client who is weak and unable to move without assistance is positioned in a chair, the nurse aide should A. Check on the client every 5 minutes. B. Make sure the client's water pitcher is full. C. Protect the client with a seat belt. D. Place the signaling device within the client's reach. The correct answer is D. Place the signaling device within the client's reach. Question number 6. What would be the best way for the nurse aide to promote client independence when bathing a client who had a stroke? A. Give the client a complete bath only when the client requests it. B. Encourage the client to do as much as possible and assist as needed. C. Leave the client alone and assume the client will do as much as the client can. D. Limit the client to washing the client's hands. The correct answer is B. Encourage the client to do as much as possible and assist as needed. Question number 7. Which of the following methods is the correct way to remove a dirty gown? A. Pull the gown over the head. B. Let the gown drop to the floor and step out of the gown. C. Roll the gown dirty side in and away from the body. D. Pull the gown off by the sleeve and shake the gown out. The correct answer is C. Roll the gown dirty side in and away from the body. Question number 8. The healthcare team member who assists the client with the performance of activities of daily living is the A. Social worker B. Occupational therapist C. Speech therapist D. Case manager The correct answer is B. An occupational therapist is a specially trained professional who helps people recover, develop, or improve everyday living skills. Question number 9. What does ambulate with assistance mean? A. Walk with the client twice a day. B. The client may use a wheelchair. C. Have the client use a cane for walking. D. The client can walk with a nurse aide providing help. The correct answer is D. The client can walk with a nurse aide providing help. Question number 10. When transferring a client, most of the client's weight should be supported by the nurse aides. A. Back. B. Shoulders. C. Legs. D. Wrists. The correct answer is C. Nursing assistants should use their legs to lift patients instead of their back. Doing so helps to prevent back injuries. Question number 11. When changing a soiled dressing, the nurse aide should wash his hands, A. Before the procedure. B. After the procedure. C. Before and after the procedure. D. Before, during, and after the procedure. The correct answer is D. Change gloves before, during, and after the procedure to prevent cross-contamination. Question number 12. The nurse aide must wear gloves when A. Transferring a client B. Providing mouth care C. Dressing a client D. Weighing a client The correct answer is B. Wearing gloves while providing mouth care helps protect both patients and healthcare workers from infection. Question number 13. 
When assisting a client who has right-sided weakness to transfer from a wheelchair, the nurse aide should support the clients. A. Left side. B. Right side. C. Front side. D. Back side. The correct answer is B. Assist the resident's weak right side. Question number 14. The nurse aide can help prevent pressure injuries in the client by A. Repositioning the client every 4 hours. B. Massaging reddened areas on the client's skin. C. Keeping linens clean, dry, and wrinkle-free. D. Using perfumed soap to clean the client's skin. The correct answer is C. Keeping linens clean, dry, and wrinkle-free helps prevent pressure injuries. Question number 15. If a nurse aide discovers a small fire in a client's room, the nurse aide should first, A. Sound the alarm. B. Contain the fire. C. Remove the client from any danger. D. Extinguish the fire. The correct answer is C. Remove the client from any danger. Question number 16. When a client has memory loss, the nurse aide should A. Reassure the client that forgetting information is expected with age. B. Speak loudly to the client. C. Ignore the client's statements that are not accurate. D. Give the client simple step-by-step -step instructions. The correct answer is D. Give the client simple step-by-step -step instructions. Question number 17. What does the abbreviation ADL mean? A. Ad lib. B. As doctor likes. C. Activities of daily living. D. After daylight the correct answer is C. Activities of daily living. Question number 18. Which of the following actions should the nurse aide take to communicate with a client who has hearing loss? A. Face the client when speaking. B. Repeat statements twice every time. C. Shout so that the client can hear you. D. Use a high-pitched voice. The correct answer is A. Face the client when speaking. Some clients with hearing loss can read your lips if you are facing them while speaking. Question number 19. What is the first area of a client's body that the nurse aide should wash when providing a bed bath? A. Legs. B. Face. C. Arms. D. Feet. The correct answer is B. Wash the face first when performing a bed bath. Question number 20. When a nurse provides the nurse aide confidential information about a client, the nurse aide should A. Share it with other clients. B. Keep the information private. C. Discuss the information with other staff members in the break room. D. Discuss the information with the client's family. The correct answer is B. Keep the information private. The nurse aide must protect the client's rights to privacy and confidentiality. Question number 21. Mouth care for a client who is unconscious should be done every A. 2 hours. B. 4 hours. C. 6 hours. D. 8 hours. The correct answer is A. Provider mouth care to an unconscious patient every 2 hours. When mouth care is provided to an unconscious patient, place the patient in the side lying position to prevent secretions from pooling at the back of the oral cavity. Also, use of an oral suction may be necessary to prevent aspiration. Question number 22. The nurse aide should place the client's soiled bed sheets, A, on the bedside table. B. On the floor of the soiled utility room. C. In a biohazard bag. D. In the soiled linen container. The correct answer is D. Place soiled linens in the soiled linen container. Question number 23. Before taking the oral temperature of a client who has just finished a cold drink, the nurse aide should wait. A. 20 minutes. B. 25 to 35 minutes. C. 45 to 55 minutes. D. At least one hour. The correct answer is A. Wait 20 minutes before taking an oral temperature if the client has recently eaten or drank fluids. Question number 24. The nurse aide should understand that a back massage, A. Causes muscle spasms. B. Increases blood pressure. C. Promotes circulation. D. Increases the heart rate. The correct answer is C. Back massages improve circulation. Question number 25. Once a client has been pronounced dead, the responsibility of the nurse aide is to A. Make sure the body is clean. B. Call the family. C. Leave the room. D. Give spiritual care. 
The correct answer is A. Cleaning the body. Postmortem care involves caring for a deceased client's body with dignity and in a manner that is consistent with the patient's religious or cultural beliefs. Florida Training Academy has helped thousands of adult learners pass their CNA exams. If you found this video helpful, please like the video and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching and supporting a nurse-owned business.